Here I am, you blighted ghoul! Then come, let us do battle. Letter addressed to Sir Pontius. Well, I'll be. That's me! Good Sir Pontius the Knight, hero of tribe. We have an unfortunate case of a missing prince, but we trust with your extraordinary skills, you'll find him swiftly. Within a dream, you summon your shadow. Beside this spell and watch it grow. Prince Celius has some talent for magic, but some time ago he was involved in an accident using his powers. <gasps> so he is to be treated firmly, but gently. You must be the prince we're looking for. Good thing too. I was afraid you'd been eaten by wolves. What do you want with me? We're taking you to the safety of the Astral Academy. What? I'm not going back there. You think we'd leave you alone in the middle of nowhere here? Look, I don't care if you're a prince or a pig keeper. You're coming with us. I'm not a child to be told what to do. Not again. Run off. Then we must follow him. Uh, I say we knock him unconscious and carry him back to the Astral Academy.
make some potions. Warm up the cauldron. Oh, no. Last time I made potions, my hair turned white all over. What if it's worse than the last time? What if my hair falls out entirely? What if something else falls off? My toes? What works? But I prefer to see you bumble about cluelessly. Get to work! Of course, Auntie. Of course. Just please don't make me drink any potions. Stop wasting my time, lazy little boy. Bring the pot to a boil. Uh, uh, of course, Auntie. Of course. Your uncontrolled magic is taking over the forest with nightmares. Unless you intend to bury yourself under a mountain, there's no safe place for you in this kingdom. Your Highness, there's no other choice. You have to come with us. Let's see what other nightmares the three of you hide in your hearts. What are you afraid of, Sir Knight? Sir Pontius is a fraud. He wouldn't be a knight if it wasn't for the enchanted powers he came to by accident. Let's take back his cloak and show him and his friends their true place in the dirt. No, wait! We're supposed to be friends! <laughs> Not you, too! You can't just take my cloak away! Two against one? Not very knightly now, eh? I'm sorry, my fellows. You know, we're not saving a prince anymore. Celius is turning into a villain. And you know what we do with villains. Zoya is right. If we can't save the prince, we're going to have to fight him? What a dark nook this is. It reminds me of how all those nightmares jump out of the shadows whenever Prince Celius is around. Shh, would you two please stop talking about the nightmares already? <laughs> Afraid of something. What? My crown protects me! Ah! Oh, the fruit 
for you. It should cure the nightmare prince of what ails him. Thank you so much, miss. Oh, good. I'm so glad we'll have no reason to fight the poor boy. Once we make sure he drinks it all. I'm pretty sure this is a terrible idea. We usually work our way up from terrible ideas. So we are to engage toe to toe. The heroes are right. I have to stop running from you. For you've learned to dream of light, but you do know the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. And we all know from the natural order of things either there is light and darkness, or just darkness. Either way, the shadows win. Resolution seemed now impossible.
And despite all that, I'm still not dead. Shall we go another round? I have all the time in the world. You foolish boy. Your light cannot harm me. The light isn't for you. It's for me. No, wait! Don't take me back! You'll regret this! Think how you'll have to guard me day and night! I'll poison your thoughts! Nothing worse than what you've already put me through. Well, thank you for returning me to my imprisoned stay at the Astral Academy. Oh, I'm sure they'll be much more lenient with how much you've learned during this journey. Yes. Maybe they'll only lock me up at night. Sounds like progress to me. I wish I could reward you all somehow, but I don't have anything. Don't worry about it. Good luck. What an adventure. It was nice to be of help to someone. Not just, you know, skeleton deconstruction. I see what you mean. And I agree. Lifting someone up instead of putting down goblins. Oh, that reminds me. I have a pie-eating contest to get to. Sounds like we're ready to head our own ways again. Who knows what kind of trouble will find us next. Maybe an army of enraged, enchanted hogs. No, I think those already got taken care of. Until we meet again.